And the word human even means bird of prey. Wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. That's not very scary. More like a six foot Citicosaurus. A Citicosaurus, say. Try to imagine yourself in the late quaternary. You'll get your first look at the six foot Citicosaurus as you enter a city. You stay still, because you think that maybe its visual acuity is based on movement. Maybe it's not all that bright. But no, not Homo sapiens. You stare at it, and it just stares right back at you. And that's when it starts shooting you with this. The gun! Perhaps it will shoot you here, or here. Oh no, not again. Or maybe right in the belly, blowing up your intestines. The point is this, you're still alive when half-digested protoceratops starts squirting out of the newly formed holes in your torso. So try to show a little respect, okay? Okie dokie. You know, if you wanted to scare the kid, you could have just shown him your claw. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Hey, Dr. Altus, Mr. Osmulske, do either of you know who that guy in the hat was? Well, Dr. Antaropus, I think it was... This truth you mine must won't settle for defeat. I'll borrow, talk sweet, I'll even kiss you kiss for me. my dear beloved dose of whatever it is that I eat. I'll take that as a no. What do you think you're doing? Hell, we were saving those leftovers. For today, I guarantee it. <laughs> I can see that my 75 million dino yen a year is being well spent. Okay, who's the wise guy? I think it's one of our donors. Mr. Robustus, I'll cut right to the chase. I own an island. Off the coast. You might say it's a bit of a biological preserve. <laughs> Although some have dubbed it a nightmare realm. At any rate, our new enterprise could really use the endorsement of a paleontologist and, uh... Paleocoprologist. Yeah, remind me not to shake your claw. <laughs> oh well, would you two be interested in coming along for the weekend? Well, I don't know. We just dug up a new human fossil and... I don't really want to go, and... I'll let you finish the rest of this protoceratops. Okay, fine. I'll fully fund your dig for the next five years. Hmm, I think we might be able to work something out. To the Mauisaurus! Right here, let's, let's stop right here. <laughs> what the? Hmm, this species of maple has been extinct since the late Holocene. I mean, this thing is a what? It's, it's an elephant. Uh-huh. <laughs> he did it, that, that, that crazy son of a baryonyx did it. <laughs> this thing is what, 10, 11 foot high at the shoulder? African elephant 13. This one's our biggest. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the tiger at 35 miles per hour. You have a tiger? <laughs> yep. Say it again. <laughs> we have a tiger. <laughs> uh -oh, boy. Deep breaths, baby, deep breaths. Dr. Mongoliensis, my dear Dr. Antirubis, welcome to Quaternary Park. <laughs> They're moving in heads. They freaking do move in heads. How did you do this? I don't remember. This short film should inform you and remind me how I got my feathered claws on an extensive genetic library from the Quaternary. Wait a second, am I pronouncing that correctly? 
Aliens! I remember now! They've been collecting genetic information from across the cosmos for eons! And they gave me a sample from Earth's history when I accidentally established first contact. The giant horizontal target! The future of posh landscaping! What the? Any questions? Um, uh, yes, uh, several actually. Uh, first, uh, why didn't you, um, ask about the, uh, the, uh, propulsion system? Uh, uh, uh well, there it is. <laughs> no questions? Oh, well, let's move on to the nursery, shall we? Right this way? Mr. Robustus, perfect timing. <laughs> I'll show you one of our most recent clones before I catch the last Mauisaurus off the island. <laughs> Dr. Millenni, why didn't you tell me? I insist on being here to see cute little babies. Come on, come on, little one. Give Mr. Robustus your best smile. What species is this? Um, it's, uh, Homo sapiens. You bred humans. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, I've been saving such a human speech for this very moment. Oh no, please, not in public. Imagine yourself in the late Quaterno. The gun! So, try to show a little respect, okay? You're implying that a group of recently cloned humans will somehow reinvent Firearms. I, I I I think that what my um esteemed uh, colleague is, I'm um, not your is colleague. Um, trying to say is that her uh, life um finds a way. Bang, bang. What did she just say? Was she mocking me? Come on, baby, don't start a fight with an infant. You know as well as I do that she'll win. And baby, I think it's pronounced quaternary. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, mispronunciation. That is the um the 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 um uh, clearest indication of um uh, chaos. Ha ha ha! You'll have to excuse Doctor Ostromesorum. He's a bit of a loony. What's wrong? You've barely touched your protoceratops. <laughs> I'm not hungry. So, on a scale of a billion to a trillion, how awesome is this place? Really, come on. Um, uh, you, you do realize that the whole enchilada is doomed to a s swirling vortex of, uh, chaos, uh, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I don't like you. Why don't I ask the investor's lawyer what he thinks? Wait, where is he? Where's Mr. Albertensis? Hello? Ah, that's right. Haha, <laughs> splendid. Oh, you'll be having some company on your tour of the park this afternoon. Let's go outside to meet them, shall we? Right this way. <laughs> Grandkids. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> You're that six-foot Citicosaurus kid, aren't you? And I'm his sister. I want to lay your eggs. Let the tour begin. The next voice you will be hearing is my own. Haha, <laughs> spared every expense. First up is the Mozambique Spitting Cobra, which appears to be a bit shy today. <laughs> oh well, moving on. Next on our tour is the Bengal Tiger. Somebody get a Protoceratops out there, maybe she'll come for food. Bah! Bah! Tiger doesn't want to be fed, she wants to hunt. You don't know that. How could you possibly know that? Hey, sum up chaos theory for me in only two words. Mathematical, uh, paranoia. <sighs> Moving on. So, um, eventually there are going to be some quaternary period animals on this, uh, quaternary period tour, right? Um, hello? Uh, hello? Is anybody there? Is this thing on? I am really tempted to eat that man. <laughs> It's a rhino! She was always my favorite and now just look at her, she's the most gorgeous creature on earth. I want to see one every day. <laughs> Is she sick? What? No, she's just sleeping. Aren't they bloody allowed to sleep? I'm going to sink my claw shoulder deep in its poo. Um, what, what? Storm's coming our way. Better head back. The game warden and I will follow in a bit. Show me the droppings, Mr. Cabazai. Oh boy, what a day. Two no-shows and one lazy rhinoceros. Wait, what? Why are all the electric fences failing? Where on earth is our programmer? 99 embryos in ready whip, 99 embryos in... Hey, what's your name, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> 
Where are the others? We got there a bit late, but here's what we pieced together. <laughs> we did find him. Chaos. 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 We think that the paleontologist and your grandkids are out there somewhere in the park. Oh, well, this'll be an easy fix. All I have to do is press the reset button. Why, what are you doing? You do realize you just shot off the bloody juice to the human pen, right? Hmm, I did not know that. This tree seems like a safe enough place to spend the night. I think it's too short. Dr. Mongoliensis, my love, look. It's so God bless you. Dr. Ostromesorum is okay. I gave him a mirror to occupy his attention. <laughs> I'm so interesting. You know, when I first came down from Mongolia, I set up a flea circus. Oh, it was really quite spectacular. And the little raptorlings would say, Oh, mommy, I can see the fleas. Can't you see the fleas? But their mommies and daddies would say, No, dear, it's all motorized. But it wasn't. I spent so long training those fleas, and everyone thought it was just an illusion. But with this place, I wanted to prove them wrong. Don't you understand? The ones who I invited to this island for an early endorsement, yourself included, are the children of those skeptical parents. Really? I thought I'd seen you somewhere before. Huh, so there actually were fleas. Wow. Tiny electrodes. That's really all you need to control them. Um... Yes, I know. I am quite the genius. <laughs> Was that a... Oh, boy. <laughs> Hey, kid, can you tell me what those are? A zebra, a zebra, a zebra. Are they meat eaters? My future husband. No, but... Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> no, not this way, go back, go back. Where did she even find a loaded gun? Life art found a way. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever look at mammals the same way again. <laughs> After I reset the system, I put in a call to the mainland. A Maui sawyer should be picking us up right about now. Mr. Robustus, after careful consideration, I have decided not to endorse your pack. Why not? Woot! I, Mr. Giganticus, made it through Quaternary Park. Um, I can explain. Hi there, I'm a cheetah putty, an over a dinosaur from the late Cretaceous. How are you? Enough with the pleasantries, I'm here to clear something up from the Reverse Jurassic Park videos. Baryonyx and Psittacosaurus were not contemporaries of Velociraptor. Our Dromaeosaurid stars were simply mentioning creatures from their own fossil record. It's kind of like how a human might bring up a dinosaur in daily conversation. You know who you are! Well, that's it for me. This is Mr. Osmulskase, signing off. Bacaw!